name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Today we celebrate the Feast of uh, St. James. He was one of the uh, beloved apostles of our Lord. Uh, our Lord had three favorite apostles, Peter, James, and John. Uh, James and John were brothers, uh, the sons of uh, Zebedee. This is Zebedee. Uh, the gospel we read that she was asking our Lord for a great favor that her sons would sit on his right hand, on his left hand, in the kingdom of heaven. That's, uh, uh, he said, well, for him to do that, it's up to his father who sits on the right hand and who sits on the left hand in the kingdom. She was asking too much, but uh, she was seeking for her sons. But St. James uh, was a great apostle. He went to uh, Spain and uh, and then he came back to the Holy Land. He died. Herod, Herod killed him, and he was the first of the apostles uh, to be martyred. And, uh, the first apostle to uh, die and lay down his life for our Lord. And today, uh, his body was taken back to Spain. And, uh, the, the, it's a great pilgrimage to uh, Compostela there, uh, a very long pilgrimage uh, that many people used to do for a pilgrim's sake uh, to go to his tomb and go to his, uh, his grave, his shrine there, and uh, they got many graces. He gives many graces to those who, who, who do uh, he pays many benefits, many blessings for those who honor him. And so we need to honor the saints, we need to honor the apostles, and know that they intercede for us with our Lord. Now, we don't know if he's sitting on the right hand or the left hand of our Lord, or where exactly his spot in heaven is, but we do know that he is close enough that he can obtain many blessings for his clients, for those who go to him and ask uh, him for, for things. So he set the example for the, for the uh, apostles of being, he wasn't the first martyr of the church, but the first of the apostles to be martyred. He set that example for them, that he laid down his life uh, for uh, the faith. Mm -hmm. uh, Herod was the one who uh, did uh, kill him. So today, the successors of the apostles are the bishops. And the successor of St. Peter, we know, is, is uh, the Pope. And, and the Pope and the bishops uh, are not uh, doing what the work of the apostles. This is a big scandal in the church, a scandal in the world, that they are not spreading the faith. They're not teaching the faith that the apostles taught. They're not practicing the faith that the apostles taught. Rather, they have uh, 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 turned and said, no, uh, we want to love the world. And if, uh, the, the bishops today, they would have been friends with Herod. Uh, they, would have, they would have been friends with him and Herod would not have martyred them because they would have gone and been friendly with him and, uh, and got along well with him. Uh, but that's the modern bishops. And this is why we have to pray for pray to our Lord to give us uh, true apostles today. And then that will uh, fulfill fill the shoes of the uh, apostles, fill the shoes of St. James and, uh, and uh, try to uh, ask them to help us to truly lead the church out of this crisis uh, that we are in. So we should pray to the apostles. They are the pillars of the church. The 12 pillars of the church are the 12 apostles. And the, the pillars seem to be pretty shaky today. The foundation seems even shaky. And so we, we need a, a, a solid pillars and a solid foundation. We have to pray to these apostles that uh, they will provide these pillars for us and provide this foundation for us.